Hello to all grade 11 students under our STEM strands. Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. This will be the introduction to your pre-calculus. So in your first lesson, you will be discussing the first part of the conic section, which is the circle. Next will be the parabola, followed by the hyperbola and the ellipse. But before we discuss those four, those four different conic sections, so let us first famir familiarize our cone. So this is our cone, and we have its part. This is our base. Okay. This will be our base. Now, we have this line, this is called our island thin height. And this line is called our altitude or the height. Those are the part of our cone. Now, we stated that in our conic section, we have a circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Let us discuss the circle first. So, this is our cone. Definition of circle, a circle is formed if the plane is parallel to the base of the cone. So, for example, in our cone, we were going to cut our cone parallel to the base, parallel to our base, we will, we will form a circle. Okay, that is the circle. Next, the parabola. A parabola is formed if the plane is parallel to the slanting height of the cone. So, in our cone, if you're going to cut a part of our cone that is parallel to the slanting height, that will form a parabola. So, that, this illustration. So, this one. So, parabola and circle. Circle, you already discussed this in your grade 10 lesson, in your previous year. And parabola, you discussed this in your grade 9 mathematics. So, this is just a short recall about circle and parabola. And of course, you will encounter the hyperbola. So, a hyperbola is formed when the plane, uh, not necessarily vertical, intersect both cones to form an unbounded curve. So you notice, in this illustration, you will form a, parabola, a hyperbola here. Actually, it's just like a parabola. And... The last one is the ellipse. An ellipse is formed when the tilted plane intersects only one cone to form a bounded curve. So in short, if you're just going to cut a diagonal part in our cone, any part, that is not parallel to the base and that is a parallel to our slanting height, just a diagonal part that will form an ellipse. So those are the four kinds of conic sections. Circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. And since, notice that if the cone is cut by a plane figure, and we are dealing with the plane figure, of course, you're going to graph the circle, parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse in our Cartesian plane. 
So you better recall your Cartesian plane. Our Cartesian plane, I will write it here, okay, the Cartesian plane. This, the proponent of Cartesian plane is René Descartes. Okay, that's why it's called rectangular coordinate system or Cartesian plane, Descartes. Now, this is our x-axis and our y-axis. So, this is the quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. And in quadrant 1, we have the sign both positive for the x and positive for the y. For quadrant 2, we have negative for the x-axis and positive for the y-axis, or y-coordinate. Quadrant 3, the x-coordinate and y-coordinate are negative. And in quadrant 4, the x-coordinate is positive and the y-coordinate is negative. So that is, that's our rectangular coordinate system. Recall this lesson because in our circle, parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse, you're going to graph. So in order for you to graph easily, you need to master our rectangular coordinate system because you are dealing with a plane figure. Okay, so that's the introduction for our conic sections. Actually, you can find conic section everywhere. But, of course, you will not appreciate everything in mathematics. So, we will try our, I, I will try my best to explain these topics uh, in interesting way so that you can understand and appreciate the beauty of conic sections. See you in our next video will be the circle. That will be your module one in your topic. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.